want to take you to Leamington, Ontario now for the first of an ongoing special assignment for the Nationals' Nick Purden. He's getting up close to the people and the communities across Canada that have a story to tell. And tonight it's the people of Leamington. More than 700 lost their jobs when Heinz closed the plant that had been there for more than a century. Nick went to ask them how they're coping. For as long as anyone around here can remember, Leamington was Heinz, and Heinz was Leamington. This was as reliable as gravity. Then last fall, the impossible happened. Heinz closed, hundreds of people lost their jobs. I'm hurt, I got two kids to feed. Get no more job. For a few days, Leamington and the Heinz closure was big news. But then, the media moved on. Okay. But what about Leamington? Nine months later, I've come back to see how people's lives have changed. So what I want to find out is what happens to a town when the major employer shuts the door. Here's what we know about Dennis Jackson. Worked at Heinz for 49 years. Now he comes to this marina every morning just to hang out. There he is. Dennis, good morning. Good morning. And how come, how come you come down here and look at the water every morning? This is the nicest place in the whole world, I think. I've been doing it since I lost my wife 14 years ago. I asked Dennis about Heinz. And I figure there's going to be some anger. Instead, he fishes in his pocket for a ring he carries around with him. I made this as a friendship ring when we first started dating. And what it is is a 10-year pin. It's got a diamond in it. On the back, it says, uh, for 10 years of faithful service to H.J. Heinz Company. Very special to me. So Heinz and your wife all together in that ring. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, I... I hate to say it, but Heinz is probably close to me than anybody, anything in my life. Talking to Dennis, you realize how times have changed. Nobody stays in the same job their whole life anymore. Who do you blame for what happened? I, I hate to say greed, but I get a little bit of greed in there, and yet I don't know nothing that way. You know, that's, that's the way the world works. You know, just lately Kellogg's moved out of Canada. It's not just Heinz and Kellogg's. There was the Caterpillar plant in London, U.S. Steel in Hamilton. Hershey's and Smith's Falls. Since 2006, more than 350,000 manufacturing jobs have been lost across the country. So I've been chatting with our waitress. Her name is Brooke. Brooke adds another closure to the list. Navistar shut down in her hometown of Chatham. And that's why she moved to Leamington. You see a lot of people come through here. What do you see in the people? Sad. You see a lot of people sad. You see them uh, not sure. You've got uh, worry, worry, stress. You know, the number one killer in all of us is stress. And uh, it's unfortunate because nobody knows what's going to happen, right, when a community gets hit like that. And what about this? I mean, I noticed it's breakfast place, and there's a, there's there's ketchup on every table. It's like you can't get away from it. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, I've had some comments on that one. <laughs> like, uh, uh, have you wanted to smash all your bottles? That anger flows deepest in the tomato fields. Oh, I like tomatoes. I wouldn't be surprised if Greg Dick bleeds oh, yeah, tomato juice, much. Heinz tomato right. juice. There's not much juice. His family right. grew so Heinz's tomatoes for 60 uh, years until now. And how much did you make and how much do you make now? Like what's the, what are the numbers, the stark numbers? More or less. I couldn't, uh, I, ne I never figured it out because it was depressing to think about it. Um, I don't know. What Greg did tell me is his future is uncertain. His life has changed, but it turns out it's not all bad. So now you have more time with your family? You work less? I mean, is that a positive? It is, I'm getting older. 
maybe grumpier. Um, my wife always said, you need to slow down and this forced me to, so. But do you don't sound happy about it. Well, I'm not. You always want to go out on your terms, not on somebody else's. In Leamington, changes in the tomato fields show up downtown. Stores have closed. Can I come and sit down? But it's still busy on the bench in front of Moe's bar. You're going to leave? What exactly are you doing? We work for CBC. Oh, hi. And we're, <laughs> we're doing a story post uh, Heinz. Oh, OK. Yeah. What, 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 do you, what do you think? Um, it has impacted a lot. Like on, I know, like, well, our business, it made a big difference. And the irony is business is better. As a bartender, Vicky knows that when people don't work, they drink. And that's not all. Like, I mean, before Heinz closed, there was a drug problem in this town. Huge drug problem. Since the closing, it's gotten worse. It's grim. Very grim. I hope my kids don't, you know, when they're, you know, done school, I hope they get the hell out of here. I don't want them staying here. There's nothing here. Did Hope really leave town? Some people here cling to the fact that a new company, Highbury Canco, bought the old factory and hired some of the people back at less money. But everyone reminds you they're not Heinz. Take the town's unofficial historian, Scott Holland. He's not over Heinz leaving, not even close. It was just one of those feelings, you just like as if you'd lost your mother or brother or father, and just lost a family member. It was just like you, you were going to a funeral. I understand. Here in Leamington, the Heinz plant wasn't just a factory. I mean, as a kid, Scott threw tomatoes instead of snowballs. The baskets would fall off the trucks as they were rolling down Shirk Street to the factory. And as we were walking to school, we picked them up and we just hurl them at one another. It was like a little game. The smell in the air was tomatoes, uh, ketchup barbecue sauce. Uh, it was like walking outdoors and it was like you're walking into your kitchen when your mother was making uh, some superb uh, dinner. For Scott, Heinz was family. His grandmother worked there. And so what now? Imagine Leamington as a person. Heinz closes down. What does it do to it? This was uh, like a person, uh, it's like uh, you're a knight out on the battlefield and you're playing your heart out and then all of a sudden someone throws that lance through you and that's exactly what it's like. Someone's throwing a lance right through the heart of our, our town. And it's just, uh, it's not a mortal wound, but it's a, a wound nonetheless. It's a wound that's gonna take a long time to heal. Yeah, I, I can get up there. For old time's sake, Scott does what he used to do. Uh, let's see if we can throw it over into the parking lot here. Right. So I'll give my top to the Heinz Arena. Leamington didn't just lose jobs. The town lost its identity. And that's much harder to rebuild. Nick Purden, CBC News, Leamington, Ontario.